So this is my Cinema 4D file where I have made a letter. You can see the different views. Uh, I just want to highlight a few things. I want to make sure everything that's going to be on the printer bed is flat. That Sometimes these things can get out of line and that's going to create some issues that I've created. And you can see it's, um, it's pretty simple. It's just made out of primitives pretty much. Um, but I just wanted to make something and kind of like show the process a little bit. Um, <clears throat> the one thing maybe I'm using that's uh, might be new to some people is, is something called a cloner. So I'm going to show you what that cloner does. Uh, it lets you repeat or clone different elements so that you don't have to do them one by one. So instead of making like, you know, however many there are six or, or eight, I don't know. Um, it actually tells you yeah, eight of these. Um, doing each shape by its own, I can use a cloner. So just to show you how that works uh, really quickly, I'll you know, grab a cylinder. Um, and then I'm going to go up to MoGraph cloner. I'll bring the, the cylinder underneath as a child. And you can see there are different um, settings for the cloner. Go up to the cloner. This is a grid setting. So when I zoom out, I, or I think what's going on is, there you go. It, it is a grid setting. Uh, you weren't able to see that. What I did is I just did a linear one, which lets me control the number and the direction. This is the Y axis going up and I could always add more like this. And if you make changes to the original, then that's going to change with everything else. So I find this to be pretty handy. Um, and this is how I made this letter. I'm going to go through now and show you how to get this printed. I want to export this as an STL file. Uh, if I can get into my cinema export and you have different formats here, STL. Um, we can scale this down. Um, I've noticed that there's some issues converting this. I think what works best for me is to export it as inches and then import it as inches. Um, when I've exported it as like millimeters or centimeters, I've noticed some big changes and it still, I think, might need some tweaking, but I'm gonna say inches. So I've actually, um, I saved it before, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna just save over and then I'm gonna go to my slicer here and the option I'm gonna do is import STL with the Imperial units. So um, I can scale this down if it's too large and you can see it's gonna take three hours and 41 minutes. That's probably too long. I think uh, probably three inches and let's slice that, we can scale it down. 38 minutes, uh, not too bad. We can zoom in and see what that looks like. Uh, the different colors dictate sort of the different types of uh, uh, features they are. They're listed here. You get time as well. And the way it will print is, you know, layer by layer, it will do the bottom layer and then kind of fill it up like this. And you see the middle is actually gonna be hollow in some areas. Uh, and I think that should work. Um, let's take this and get it ready to print on the Prusa printer. I'm going to um, export it as G code. That's what the printer reads. And then uh, put it on a card and then print it from there.